in the zone now after that eagle. Woo! That was a shot for the record books. It actually hit off the hill and still went in the hole. It was just like the perfect landing. I couldn't have predicted that myself, no matter what I did. I just, on my shots to the green, I always just hope to get close to the hole. But I never expect to go in the hole. Unless I'm doing like a short chip shot or something like that. Uh, then I try for the shot to get in the hole. Oh shoot, I forgot about this shot. Uh, if, if you get too, like if you get too far away from the edge of those flowers there, uh, you'll have a shot into this mushroom here. And just like all the other mushrooms, it is rubber. Very springy. So you want to get as close to that flower patch as possible. Um, that reminds me, the flower patches on this course, if you ever hit inside a flower patch, um, Pikmin will fly out of that flower patch, which is another nice little touch of this game. If you, did, if you never played the Pikmin series, I highly recommend that you pick up the Pikmin series. Um, I'm, I don't know if they came out yet, but I thought that they were going to come out with the new Play Control Pikmin series for the Wii. I haven't really been following that. Um, because I already got the Pikmin 1 and 2 for the GameCube already, so I, I, and I wasn't really interested in catch, uh, picking up the remakes, I mean, because I already have the originals, so there's really no point in picking up the remakes unless you want to experience new play control. Oh. Um, Super Mario Sunshine might be pretty interesting with uh, new play control, because... Uh, being able to shoot the water nozzle, did they did they come out with a Super Mario Sunshine with new play control? I'm pretty sure they did. Um, well, being able to shoot the water nozzle by using the Wii remotes, you know, pointing at the screen, I think that would be a pretty cool idea. It would be like a, a first person shooter combined with Mario in a way. Uh, yeah, first shot play over here, by the way. The other, er, anywhere else is pretty risky and too far away from the hole. So this is definitely your best bet for getting on the green in two. Uh, this is going to be a pretty decent shot, I think. Oh yeah, I like that shot very much. Um, the, I heard the Metroid Prime series, the Metroid Prime Trilogy, are worth rebuying in uh, the new play control. Only if you haven't picked up number three yet, though, because three automatically comes in with the package. Um, and I'm sure you don't want to buy two game threes unless you just want to experience um, game three all over again with just with one and two with new play control. Uh, I shouldn't have put backspin on that shot. Shoot, that put me further away. Um, but otherwise, uh, if you don't have the games already, they're definitely worth uh, picking up. Uh, all the Metroid Prime games are absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to Metroid uh, Other M. I heard that the creators of Ninja Gaiden are working on that too, so that'll be pretty interesting. Like, um, uh, they've noted, like, in, not reviews, uh, previews and stuff like that. By the way, I hit the fast fairway over there on purpose to gain more distance of the 350-yard drive. Anyway, I keep changing the subject. Um, um, that, uh, in, like, in the fighting uh, scene and stuff like that, they resemble a lot of the moves, uh, from Ninja Gaiden, uh, games, supposedly. I I've never actually played the Ninja Gaiden games, to be honest. Uh, but they always looked really good. I just never uh, bought into the series yet. Uh, I might pick it, uh, buy into it one of these days. Uh, that's an okay shot. Uh, I guess if Metroid Other M is as, is as amazing as I think it will be, I'll probably start getting the Ninja Gaiden series. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to see. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, game logic time. How the heck do they get from one of those islands to the other? Uh, I suppose Mario and friends could just jump to one place or another because they're just like grasshoppers that just jump from place to place or frogs that can jump from place to place easily. But come on now. These, these, this looks kind of far away even for them. I mean, we're talking about yards of distance between these places. <sighs> Oh, oh my god, I can feel the universe implode. Never mind, never mind, never mind. And hopefully this will not go to the out-of-bounds off the... 
pump those areas there. If it goes out of bounds at any point on on this course or any course, any uh, for that matter, um, you'll have to play your shot over and with a one-stroke penalty. So you never ever want to go out of bounds unless you want to get a bogey. Um, I've I've actually gotten powers with out of bounds, but most of the time it's when you go out of bounds, it's it's over. Your par or birdie is gone. <laughs> It's just how it works. Next hole, and I just noticed I am way ahead of uh, way ahead of the competition once again. Oh, this hole is pretty interesting. Again, um, if you hit in one of these warp pipes like this, um, you can warp up to those upper tiers, but they're really risky to hit because if you end up hitting one of these edges like this, they are made of metal, and you will bounce backwards onto this rock and then down to a lower tier. <laughs> So what you're better off doing is playing playing for as high up as you possibly can and then just using backspin to control it, like this. Uh, just to see, no, almost no matter where the ball goes, uh, you'll have a clear shot to the green. And on the fairway, just like I did right there, is it pretty much the best that you could possibly do. Oh, look where they put the pin! Uh, the pin in golf is the flag, if you didn't know that. Oh... Oh, how the heck am I supposed to get up there? I'm gonna try like this and hope it runs itself up there. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh. <laughs> you don't scare me like that game. Um, I'm gonna do use a regular shot. This is one of those situations where a approach shot is actually worse than a regular shot. This is what I was explaining to you before, back in the Cheap Cheap Falls course, I think it was. Um, see how much higher a power shot and a normal shot go over the approach shot? That is what you want uh, on a shot like this, to, to get it close to the hole, um, because you have to get it to stop quickly. There's, there's no other exceptions. And... Woo! Oh, I hit the pipe! <laughs> well, that worked. I'm not complaining. Uh, hiccup. I'm not complaining. <laughs> not gonna complain one bit there. Next hole. Um, this hole is pretty dang tricky. If you if you don't get it downhill, if you don't get it down this hill right here between these two mushrooms, it's very very unlikely you're gonna get on the green in two because this is a 445 yard par four hole. And that is a long par four, and I don't think I'm going to make it down there. Um, I might get far enough, maybe, just maybe. No, it's not going to reach. It's going to stay at the upper tier. Um, this is, this is going to be an okay angle, but because of how narrow the screen is at the approach angle, it's going to be nearly impossible for me to keep, uh, control the ball's landing and where it's going to go. This is probably going to go in the bunker. Uh, wait, what the heck just happened? Did it hit the flag? I, 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 what? Uh, oh, I, uh, huh? Did you see what happened? I didn't see what happened there. Maybe I should have did a replay there. I should have hit the B button to do a replay. Oh, man. What the heck happened there? I'm gonna have to check that over later in the footage and see what I can find. That that was so strange because I was I was certain that would have been in the bunker. Oh, for this hole right here, don't don't put yourself underneath that mushroom. If you put yourself underneath that mushroom, it you're not gonna get a birdie no matter what. And I put myself under the mushroom, didn't I? Dang it! <laughs> in your face, it also makes your trajectory go higher. Dang it. Curse you, mushroom course. Curse you. I'm going to have to really lower the trajectory of this. Um, that might be the best I can do there. And just try and, like, top spin it up, up the hill. This is why <laughs> you can't get yourself underneath that mushroom. Play off to the right side or nothing. Um, you can try to get ahead of the mushroom, but if you're short, it's also over because that mushroom is going to be in your way. And if you play really short of it to try and hit over the mushroom, you're not going to be able to. Uh, this is going to be an okay shot. Right at the upper tier behind the hole, and it's completely flat, so I don't have to angle my shot or even check it whatsoever. I am a happy little monkey. 